Welcome back. Tech experts are sounding the alarm about a malicious cyber attack reportedly targeting the personal data of more than a billion iPhone users around the world. The security firm Symantec uncovered the scam, which involves fake text messages that trick users into handing over their Apple ID information and with it, take control of their phones. Kurt, the cyber guy, is here with more on this. I mean, Kurt, this sounds like something anyone could easily fall for. Uh, and, and they are. Lisa, good morning to you. We're, to we're you. talking about some July 4th fireworks left over, uh, really being pointed at those who have iPhones. That's 1.4 billion people around the world. The scam will appear as a text or in one case an email from somebody pretending to be an Apple representative. And what they do is they encourage you to tap a link to receive some kind of important message about iCloud. Well, this link sends you to a fake Apple site where countless victims are entering in their Apple ID credentials, which, as you may know, unlocks all kinds of things for access, including Apple Pay, if you've got that set up on your phone. Good antivirus security protection can disable these kinds of threats. There are three things I want you to do about this. Number one, if you didn't ask for it, don't click it. Number two, if you really, really, really want to have your phone protected, Turn on two-factor authentication. I'll show you how to do that on the website if you don't know if you've got that on or not. Number three, the most important thing, the bell I always ring, if at this point in life, with the stuff that's coming at us, you don't have antivirus protection on all your devices, be it a Mac, a PC, an iPhone, an iPad, a tablet, an Android, you're being foolish. You got to get protection. We've got a review of the best for 2024 online. You can look at them all, see what might be work for you, uh, might be worth for you to get into because threats like these are really just going to keep coming at us. I mean, I think so many of, of us have one of these and are at risk, so we're going to have to follow those tips. I also want to get to no place. Um, so what, what is it? Tell us about it. I, this is the first time hearing of it. All right, so you remember my my space, right? I was on, so my I space that, yeah. was an earlier social. Of course, everybody was. It was very colorful and expressive, but it was really before the era of sharing photos and videos as much. It was a way to just express yourself, like having, I don't know, like decorating your locker at school. Well, no place is now a mashup of the sort of Twitter and MySpace uh, for Gen Z. It's hitting number one in the App Store. Uh, so, parents, if you want to know what your kids are doing, this is what they're doing right now. It just went public earlier uh, in the week. Uh, and it's an interesting, interesting way to communicate. You got a sort of two feeds coming at you. One are your existing friends that you're connecting with that see their updates and for you to update them. But then there's this whole other one that's coming at you, a feed of just sort of general feed of what might be your interests. So, and that's the place I want parents to say, well, how do I dial up the privacy on this one? That's the problem. Well, no place, there's really no good privacy settings as of yet. So parents should be aware that that exists. So for very little ones, make sure whatever device the little ones may be using, even if it's yours for a brief moment, that those parental controls are turned on. So you'll find that as well at my website, cyberguy.com. I feel like being a parent today has got to be hard with all this technology. You have to stay on top of it. But good thing we've got you to stay on top of it for us. So Kurt, Cyberguy, always good to see you. Have a great Sunday. Appreciate it. See you, Lisa.